Ladies and gentlemen, combat numéro 151. Semi-finale, men, lightweight, 57 à 63 kilos. In the red corner, Nadir du Maroc. So we move up to the men's 63 kilogram lightweight division. Here is the flat footed puncher, Abdul Hak Nadir, the tournament number one seed, ranked number 12 in the world, the reigning All Africa Games gold medalist representing to Morocco in his home championships at Morocco last summer. And he is facing off against Jonas Jonas, the man from Namibia looking to book his place at his second successive Olympic Games. And I am really looking forward to this contest because the tournament number four seed, ranked number 36 in the world, well, when he plants his feet, he's an adept switch hitter, as we see the officials from Philippines, Romania, Tajikistan, Sri Lanka, and Japan. He can go through the gears really quickly. He's got a height and reach advantage over the 12th ranked boxer in the world, the tournament number one seed but he produced a patient, efficient display to eliminate the man from Lesotho, Kobashani Molarepi. Yep. And it was a sensational performance, a repeat victory for Jonas Jonas over Omar Abdul Waib from Ghana. Yeah, he's very capable, Nadir, isn't he? Steady, steady feet, hands high, edges forward ever so slightly. So we're underway then. And this, from the All-Africa Games last summer, where the man in red went on to take All-Africa Games gold because these two men met in the semi-final stage. And on that occasion, it was the Moroccan boxer who prevailed on a 3-2 split in the championships in Morocco. Whoa. Here on neutral territory in Dakar in Senegal, can Jonas Jonas turn the tide in his favor as he bids to book his place in his second successive Olympic Games? Good left hand to the body, landed by the man in red, but so much psychological warfare at play in the rematch stakes. Oh yeah, always, and there always is. And we might see the desire come through from Jonas Jonas, who we might want to and probably will want to. Oh, good shots there from Jonas. Nice sharp boxing there to start out, Ronald. Good punch picking. You've got to open up a guy like Nadir. You can't be too one-dimensional. And he has that great left hook counter. We've said it before. He waits on you opening up and he fires that quick left hook counter out. But you've got to give this guy lots of angles. You've got to give him lots of variety or he will dissect you through that high guard. So approaching the midpoint of the opening round, both boxers have enjoyed success. Jonas Jonas is the busier man, and there's a nice right hand through the high-held guard of Nadir. Nadir coming forward, looking for his Sunday punch. The left hook, right hand to the body, was followed by the left hook. The left hook just wider the mark. You'll see the small foot movements from Nadir. It's the way that he works. If you watch his feet, he just edges in ever so slightly, tiptoeing forward waiting on you to make that mistake so you can unleash that left hook. Look, look for the left hook once again, but that's terrific defensive work with a right glove from Jonas Jonas. Perform the salute, put it up to his temple to counter the shot that was arcing in his direction. Yeah, clever tactical work there from Jonas. Managing to just clip Nadir on the way in as well, which isn't easy because those gloves very rarely come away from the side of Nadir's eyebrows. He peeks through that guard constantly. But on that occasion, Jonas Jonas finding a way through the guard with a spearing one-two combination. Grazing right hand landed by the boxer in blue. And as the boxers exchange backhand, it was Jonas Jonas's right cross that appeared to have a little more effect. Nice shot underneath and then a left hook around the corner from Jonas Jonas. Not as much pop on his punches, but he's letting the far greater yeah. volume and variety go through this opening round. That's a good right hand to the body. Yeah, as Nadir counters with a left hook again. This is one of those, it's what you like, Ronald, isn't it? Very, very much. Do you like the long rangey boxer or do you like the aggressive, tactical, poised, aggressive fighter that is in the shape of the deer? Spearing left, right jab combination once again. And then a turning south pour, a right left combination. As Nadir coming forward, having some success with bent arm work at mid range. A very close opening round between boxers of contrasting styles.
Deep breaths being asked for in the corner from Nadir. Again, there, there's, that's his pet punch, Ronald, as we've seen before. He edges forward of those feet ever so slightly, waiting on you to just open yourself up so he can throw that left hook counter. Those gloves stuck to his eyebrows throughout, peeking from behind that guard. Here we go. And it is a 3-2 split in favour. Alex, what do you prefer? Yeah, that's exactly what we've seen there, Ronald. Exactly what we've seen. Well, remember their first meeting in Rabat at the All-Africa Games was a 3-2 split in favour of the man in red. He'll know how close that first round was. He may have got confirmation that it's gone tilted his favour, and that is why he has come out at a quicker tempo to begin this second round. He's being met by a retreating Jonas, who's looking to stay off the ropes and out of the corners, looking yeah. for a counter right hand, but was wide of the mark. But Nadir has noticeably quickened his feet here. Duel right on cue, Alex. That left nice. hook after making Jonas miss. He scored with a cracking lead left hook. It's lovely the way that he picks the punch. He just waits so patiently behind that guard. Will we see him open up a little bit more than normal, Nadir? Considering what's on the line today, will he start forcing the action and drop those hands a little bit from those eyebrows? Well, he scored with a big backhand left hook and he's, he's throwing a little more volume here now. Minute gone in the second round. Both of these men looking to continue the terrific form they've demonstrated in the tournament so far with two outstanding victories after receiving a bye in the first preliminary round as Nadir has oh. success, but then he's forced backwards by a three-shot salvo from Jonas. Jonas out of the corner. Yeah, he answered back really quickly there, didn't he? He wasn't just going to absorb those without answering back. This is a really ebb and flow match here again, rather than this round. Are we going to see Nadia open it? Oh, good shot from Jonas there. A chopping right hand. Came on a downward trajectory. He tried to turn a right hook around the corner behind the high-held left glove of Nadir. Couldn't quite find a home for it. But Nadir, to his credit, is he's fed another rapier-like yeah. left hand. And do you know why, Ronald? He's walking directly in a straight line right towards this really, really good long-range bomber. And he's taking those right hands continuously now because there's no jab. His jab is not at play at all. So less than a minute to go in the second round. A second round where Jonas Jonas has begun to get on top. Yeah, I think sometimes Nadir relies too heavily on that high guard and that counter left hook. There it is again. There's no jab though. You see a good snapping jab there, Ronald, would be really effective just to close that ground down that little bit. It would open up a world of opportunity for him. He can go right hand to the body, he can come back with the left foot to the head. Nadir sprinting back into the pocket on the resumption. Jonas, Jonas and he tussling at close range. That's the no. bell for ring B. The guys have got come to continue. Come on, lads, 20 seconds to go. <laughs> and again, boxers of this experience, they'll know how long three minutes is. It's a built-in oh, yeah. clock you guys oh, have at this level. Of course of course. But Jonas, Jonas, Ray. Oh, oh, what a right uppercut turned underneath, straight through the guard. All shot from Jonas, Jonas. From a southpaw stance as well. Oh, My and he's goodness. touching his nose there, Ronald, just to see if there's any damage done. He's and felt that. Most certainly. And did you see the contrasting body language? Nadir went back to the red corner with his head bowed. Jonas Jonas in comparison fairly skipping back yeah. to the sanctuary of the blue corner. I've never seen Nadir look so you know downtrodden in the corner ever. He normally looks really positive, deep breaths, really controlled. There we see some of the success there from Nadir. He didn't have a bad round. Jonas just seemed to do that a little bit more. But there's no jab existing there at all from Nadir, and I think that's the thing. So, Jonas, Jonas, a 3-2 split once again. Yeah. Nadir taking it for judges C and E. This one incredibly tight once more. Was it the same judging with the same judges, Ronald? Or? Hard to tell. Hard to remember on a fight this exciting. <laughs> Nadir so, starts quickly. A 3-2 split in both round one and two in favour of Jonas, Jonas. This an incredibly competitive affair. 
A place at the Tokyo Olympic Games up for grabs. Jonas Jonas looking to make a second successive Olympic appearance, having competed at 64 kilograms. Light welterweight in Rio, that no longer exists. Nice left hand landed by Jonas Jonas. And this guy's really oh, putting more in this final round. Th this, is, this is quality, Ronald. This is high caliber boxing we're seeing here. Jonas trying that right uppercut again from the southpaw guard. Not quite the same result as he had in round two with that punch. As Nadir grabbed his nose to check for the damage. He certainly felt a good right hand from Jonas there again, Ronald. Walked him right onto it. Nadir trying to get into mid-range to land that left hook. And there's a jab and then move off to the right from Jonas. Beautiful left-right combination. Good right hand to the body, good spirit of the round for Jonas, but then Nadir answered with his trademark left hook. Yep, well, now Jonas is targeting the body because he's not seen the gaps through that super tight. Gloves glued to the eyebrows defence, so he's popping that right hand under the body, and of course they score now, Ronald, these days. Ten-point must system in effect, so during the computer era, sometimes body work wasn't rewarded, but that's not the case now that the pen and paper ten-point must system is in effect. We've just gone beyond the midpoint of the third and final round. A contest that is in the balance. A 3-2 split in both rounds one and two in favour of the boxer in blue. And Jonas's tactics seem to be coming through quite apparently here now. He's boxing very, very well now, Ronald. And I was just trying to take a close look at that nose of Nadir to see whether there is some swelling beginning to develop around the eyes after he took that cracking right uppercut in the closing stages of round number two. And flush, he took that flush. Total credit to Nadia for just having a little feel at the nose. And he's been doing that repeatedly in yep. this third round, but he keeps on coming. He knows what's at stake because he bids to book his place at his first Olympic Games. Yeah, Jonas got an answer for everything Nadir does now. <coughs> So final 30 seconds of what has been an absorbing counter so far. High skill in evidence between these two outstanding boxers. The tournament number one and number four seeds meeting in a rematch. And so far, at least from, well again, it depends what you prefer as yeah, the 10 course. second clapper sounds, but Jonas Jonas acquitting himself very well indeed. This one's going to go to the scorecards oh. right